All right, we've got two jobs, two tasks to do, and then most of our shoreline tasks are done for now. We still need to get to that and that. Healthcare privacy part three, sorry, two. And we're gonna try and get spa tour done. And then we're out of there for a bit. We should always loot hunting matches. So one of the good things is with the generator quest, as long as you go into the rooms, you do not need to like go back into those rooms. So if I get into both and then die, then I don't have to go back to them. I just have to survive a raid of shoreline. Why always loot hunting matches? They're about to trade for a um uh, the green rig, tar tar tarzan tarzan. You, uh, the ragman's cast is to my left. I might go do that. Uh, so. The, the quick and nasty summary of the hardcore rules. Can only use barter trades on traders. No flea market. That's pretty much the main two. And you start with completely nothing on a standard account. So... Like, not even a melee weapon. So, it, it's... The start is a lot more brutal than later on, but... Later on gets more brutal because if you want to... Like, I'm not, I'm not going for Kappa this white, but if you are going for Kappa, like, the gun for test drive is so hard to grind for. Like, to get all the items for it is actually really rough. So, if you die doing test drive, you pretty much have to find other people doing test drive too. To do it again. Oh, and no, ca and no container at all as well. The only thing you use a container for is keys. And key holders. It's even worse now because you have to do all the test drives. Yeah, so if B she was to say, oh, our next wipe's going to be in like August next year or July next year on the next wipe, say Christmas wipe, then when I do, when I would do hardcore, I would have a list of all the items I need to barter for M1As, for RPDs, like all those items to do test drives. If I was going to go for Kappa, I would... From the very beginning, all my gunsmith items, all those, uh, all the test drive guns, I would be farming them from the very beginning. But this wipe, I'm just doing max traders on hardcore because it's just not long enough. Wipe's too short.
Okay, so put it there. It's been rather quiet so far. Hello? Hey man, I, I'm, I'm just trying to get my West 306 done. Are you going to kill me? Sorry, say that again. I'm on uh, floor two, man. I'm trying to go outside. I want to get signal done. I don't even know where the signal thing is, bro. I'm not going to lie. The signal's on the roof of West Wing. It's in the middle of the roof. Like, uh, as in, like, towards the admin building on the roof of West. Uh, yeah, you got to go up to the roof of uh, of West Wing. Can can I run across the Sky Bridge thing to East Wing? Thank you, sir. It's very kind of you. Hope you have success. Hey, I need to get to the generator in 220. Can I please pass? I need to get to the generator. Okay. Can, can I please pass? I'm requesting parlay. Hello, sir? Mm -hmm. Can I please pass? Can can I get past you? You boy smoke. Sorry, I, I can't. What was that? I, I don't smoke. Hello, can I please pass you? It's I, my task. I'm a task. You're a what, sorry? I could jump out the window. You a duck? I'm requesting parlay. got an RPD. They're always on RPD quests. I never trusted him. No one takes that long to respond. What? Huh? Duck? Fucking test drives ruin shoreline for me. Good night. I'm so dead.
I was too close to the wall, I couldn't move over. You don't feel stressed in this game anymore? Not a lot. Before when I said about that guy that was like chasing me, that's the kind of guy that was chasing me. Who the fuck is that? Hello? Yo, dude. What are you doing? I don't know if that's a player. If it is, it's not very good. See what I mean about how, like, if I was to try and kill the that guy with the VPO with the FMJ rounds, I wouldn't have been able to kill him. Like, even even this guy at the end, I, I still only got him because I shot him in the face. He got class 6 front plate.
him or half a man in the golf still trying to figure out where you were. Oh, no. Did I kill anyone else this raid? I don't think I did. So we can actually see how many hits I took to kill him. And it's not like EKO is a bad ammo. It's 30 pen, 73 damage. But it's just not going to get through a class 5 and 6. You headshot one scav. So 35 of my damage was a scav and one hit. Oh yeah, I shot I shot I shot him with the RPD, didn't I? Why prioritize, why prioritize vehicle X fills if you don't use scav trades? Um if I was going for Kappa, it makes the scav case timer shorter, but it also makes car extracts um cheaper. So if I find if I forget to bring cash into a raid, you know, find a little bit of cash on the ground, sometimes I can take the car. So let's see. 13 hits I did on him to kill him. Because I killed the scav with one bullet. And I still think I shot him in the head, right? I killed him with a headshot? Yeah. Pace is playing off big, paying off big time. Well, unless I was to continually run, I, there was very, uh, very little chance I could fight him front on. All right, this one's to go to. No lighthouse quest. We'll do this one first, and then we'll go to the woods quest. Because this is just go to um the bunker. Care too much for a 220k 103 can go. You sick barrack. We got two or three. Money spent on him. He's good. He's good. We can always buy the dollars. Oh, we have so many prep requests we have to get done. <sighs> can you not sell things to traders to make money in hardcore? Yeah. Sure can. Five, six, cash for the car. Cool. We're going to go straight to pick up the item and out. Why did they make the... You now get ammo in boxes. Was there a specific reason behind that? Less space? Sorry, just doing a little bit of a tidy up. I know it doesn't look like it's much tidier, but in my head it is. Cool. All right. Does hardcore still feel hardcore after all the quality of life? The convenient stuff they added, etc., over the past few years. Yes. It's it's only gotten harder, to be honest. Like. Getting BSG to add some barter trades has helped, but outside of that, it's only gotten harder. The, I think probably they've added quests that give good rewards. That's been nice, but outside of that, like say I wanted to go for Kappa, there is so many quests now to do for Kappa that it's really hard to hold onto items for future quests because of how many there are. So you re really have to prioritize. I think if I was to do hardcore next wipe and go for Kappa, 
the first thing I would do, and it would be almost counterproductive, is I would farm ground zero until I have like, and this sounds ridiculous, I would vendor to get the first stash upgrade straight away. Like that would be my very first thing I would do. Cause then that having that first stash upgrade with a couple of junk boxes would just make a world of difference compared to um, trying to like, oh, I'll try and get quest done and progress that way. So I'd go, I would get a couple of containers of junk boxes, sell like crazy as I'm doing it. And then in those junk boxes, I would be putting quest items like, you know, the barter trade items, like graphics cards, CPU fans, all that, putting them aside. And I'd be trying to be very strict in what I actually need. Died to one just now, invisible scav, 9 by 19 AP ammo. How do you know they were invisible? If you can't see them. You probably just got through, shot through bull, bushes or something. If if there was invisible scavs and all that, there'd be more clips of it. Muzzle flash, but they're invisible. You can't see the muzzle flash. Like when they've been like when I've had or well back in the day, this is like 2018. When people were spawning in completely invisible, you would literally be able to walk up next to someone, shoot around them, and they wouldn't see a flash, they wouldn't see a... Oh, look at this. They wouldn't see anything. They'd just be like, completely invisible. Voice lines, nothing. Throw a grenade, nothing. If you heard a gunshot when you died, right, they weren't invisible. That's another good way of debunking it. If you just fell over and died, right, and it was a player or a player scav, it's a very good chance they were cheating and just shooting you from across the map. If it was a grenade, then it could have been a, a bugged out grenade, which happens. There's so many different things. But like I said, like we would see more clips of it than just you right now. Like, I'm not trying to, like, be rude towards you or anything. It's just that either you've got you've got one of the very first cases of it in a long time or... Where did I find that cyclone? Was that in the toolbox? Duffel. I think for next wipe as well, I'm going to ask Nikita if he can add a um an adjusted or a changed M80, sorry, M870 barter trade as well. Because that... um. That barrel is actually kind of annoying now. Because you used to be able to get an M870 from a quest, signal part three, but now you get a Benelli shotgun.
Yeah. I know that wouldn't be the most exciting start to a hardcore playthrough. Doing that grind that way that I just mentioned before. But I think seriously, that would be the best way to get Kappa in a wipe. With all the stuff required now for hardcore. I would specifically write a list of items that I would be farming straight from the very beginning. And then I would collect them. And every time I see them, no matter what, start picking them up. Uh, I am Tom W. Thanks for 14 months. I tried running in barbed wire for a couple of minutes, but it works for a minute. How you get zero gain? Are you talking about leveling up vitality or something? How would you farm military circuit boards for the RPDN? Uh, they're reserve. How many, how many RPDN kills do you need? The one good thing about that is if you're farming RPD kills on shoreline, you're most likely going to hear other people, other people shooting RPD kills on shoreline. So... You at least try, could try and farm some. It's a lot of kills. Is that the last one? Uzi is the last one. How the fuck do you get an Uzi? Is there a barter trade for an Uzi? Flame resistant. Thanks so much for the six months. <clears throat> Fifty factory kills with an Uzi. I could probably do that with less than 10 deaths. Jeez, we're nearly at level 32. 18,500. It counts scavs? Oh, okay. I could do that with five or less. Easy. I still think for me at the moment, test drive part one would be the hardest on hardcore just because of the, getting the replacement gun. It really comes down to have to fight other people that have them. And over eight thousand dollars. Thirty-two. All right. Need more morphine. Need alkalines and propane tanks too. Life is good. the fuck does it need to be repaired not found in raid fucking god I've been holding on to that all this time and it wasn't even fucking found in raid do you think lighthouse needs a rework I don't know man I just want the game finished Alright, if we go to woods, what do we need? Shoot out picnic, gratitude, supply plans, five markers, and get the blood. I've seen the conversation going around. 
How would you feel about suppressor durability? I don't think it's needed. I just think the answer to the suppressors is is actually they should just be found in raid only and you shouldn't buy them from traders. Because then you wouldn't have people running suppressors all the time and you'd hear fights and you'd hear people shooting, which means therefore you know where the combat's going on. So if you're chasing fights, you can run down after them. And if you're avoiding fights, you know where to avoid. Unless you're using subsonic rounds, suppressors in real life, like they reduce the audio. But like, let's put it this way. If you were standing on one side of customs and someone else is standing on the other side of customs, so it's like what, 400 meters, so from 400 meters away, someone shot a 7.62 suppressed. In real life, it would be fucking loud. You would hear it. It's, it's definitely, you're definitely hearing it. In Tarkov, 200 meters away, it's completely silent. You still need ear protection when firing a suppressor. Like, like, like I said, unless it's you're shooting subsonic rounds with a suppressor, so it's designed to be really quiet, they're still really fucking loud. Scopes found in raid would kill the game. No, I'm, I'm not saying scopes, just suppressors. Have them found in raid, and but you can sell on flea, you know, like don't limit the flea access. So if people want to sell sell them and make heaps of money, cool. I actually think a lot of uh, a lot of items should be actually more focused on being found in raid than less and less bought off traders, or at least barter trades. So there's emphasis on looking for items in the in the raids. I saw, I saw Grand Thumb take off his ears next to suppressed Barrett. He said it wasn't loud. Depends on the suppressor and everything still be fucking loud he just not so loud that would be deafening for him um i know we've got to go to the car there but we also have to mark the thing up here so we'll go mark the thing first then come back to the car One over there, one on top of the hill. Near the top of the hill. Didn't I mark one already? No. One, top of the hill, two, over the other side, three, four, and then five. Yep, okay. Is there anything I need to loot in here? lot of scabs.
I think that's Kevin shooting at me. What's your opinion on the availability and the weakness of tactical grenades like flashbangs or smoke? Should it be easy to buy or do you like them as is? Um, I would like... I think... I think... Oh, there's such... There's so much to go in about this. I actually know when I started to like Tarkov a lot less. And it was when they... One of the biggest changes in Tarkov that made me enjoy the game less, which was when they made it that you couldn't just press G to throw a grenade instantly. Now, I know it's a bit ridiculous when there's massive amounts of grenade spam, but... Are you fucking serious? Just fuck off. Fuck off! He was, they were shooting me through the fucking thing. If I just stayed there and placed the items down, players would be like, oh, there's a guy out there fucking placing items down. Shot me through the bush. It's so ridiculous. So when, when you used to be able to press G to throw a grenade instantly, you could actually check corners consistently. So for example, you think, oh, there could be someone in D2. Bam, you just instantly throw a grenade and you're, you check the corners as you go. Now, when you have to actually manually bring out the grenade and then throw the grenade, they hear you pull out the fucking grenade and they can just rush up to you and kill you. Look, at the, the time it takes is, is really, really long. No, it's not famine, right? Um, it can be faster, yes, but it was annoying on labs. Yeah, because every single raider had three grenades on him, so you could just spam it everywhere. But it was better. It was so much better. It forced people to move out of corners. It forced people to like, um, like take fights on, and you could you could look for people that are hiding in corners more. So, for example, um, uh, what do you call it? The the game um, Delta Force, right? So Delta Force, for example, I thought Delta Force was going to be really bad. Or at least I was hesitant. Well, not really bad. I thought the operator system was going to be really bad. And I was really hesitant to like get excited about the game. But the way the operator works is it's all about utility. There's like one guy that shoots grenades, but like they're okay, but they're not amazing. Um, but the most of them are actually all about utility of like making people move and get out of the way and, and all that kind of stuff. So it ended up working out that like, you can find people hiding and ratting. You can find you can use smoke to like make cover so you can run away or res your teammate. And it makes the fights a lot more tactical and intense. Tarkov kind of lost that when we lost the ability to um, throw grenades because it made it so in Tarkov when you throw a grenade, like it takes so long now that it's 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 not really good. <laughs> and what ends up happening, right, is people walk around like this. Like with it with an impact nade around factory waiting to like get their grenade kills. And it's just dudes walking around like that. So yeah, I think if we could throw flashbangs faster, I think people would use them a lot more, giving up people a lot more utility. And then also um smoke grenades. Like they need to work better, but people could actually use them. This PvE series that I'm doing now.
King Sword Arms, thanks so much for 43 months. Alright, King Binge. Thanks for two months. That was likely throwing, someone throwing a grenade to see if Sturman's there. Hey, Pets, have you ever gotten the bug when you receive request rewards that are invisible in the receive all box? Maybe scroll up? Is that the armor that I need? Probably he's aiming a little high. This one? You can prone there, on top of sniper rock, yeah. Sort of a bathurst this weekend. 
Uh, I don't think I'll have time to watch it, but... I, I do like to check in, see how Chaz is doing. I'd like to go one year. You know what they should do? Now like Formula 1 has like all these rules and stuff. They should like get do a version of Formula 1 that has no rules. Like you can make the fastest car possible. There's no limitations of like weights or power or anything. We fucked it. Someone shooting at me. To go on top of Sniper Rock. I agree with Pass. No rules. Bring back blood sports. We crave the arena. It would be cool though. It would be cool. I also think that they should do Olympics with no, no drug testing. I think I think someone is planning to actually do that. I want to see someone run a nine second 100 meter. I want to see someone on the start line with like two adrenaline stems be like psh, psh, and then just be like like <laughs> drooling like <laughs> I, want, I want to see it all right make it happen 44 49 We not have a cat or a roller. All right, TV rigs and black rocks. We can craft the black rocks at least. We are not required to do any more therapist quests. We've got the rep, we just need the levels now. What was the adrenaline needed for? It's a quest on a cooldown. Um, Alright, need one more morphine, 
two alkalines, one propane. How did we not do that? We ran straight past it. I blame chat. Right, right. Switch over to the DVL for a little bit. Does this mean lighthouse? 